lower burden correction followed by tailor tendency correction these two corrections we use it to apply to the observed spt value i have observed spt value but don't take this value in the design while you are designing the foundation so you need to apply certain corrections to obtain the spt value whatever your observed value is not the final value you need to apply the corrections to spt there are two types of correction we use it to apply first one is power button correction and the second one is dilatancy correction so let me proceed now power button correction power button correction so now n dash is equal to cn into n somebody can ask me what is n dash corrected spt value corrected spt value somebody can ask me what is cn corrections to correction to power button this there is a formula there is a formula given by teng teng equation i will write for cn uh, power button correction cn is equal to 0.77 log 10 by log 10 log 10 it is a function of 2000 by sigma dash somebody can ask me what is sigma dash sigma dash is the effective stress effective power button stress effective power power button stress therefore sigma dash is equal to sigma minus u you might be studied in your basic soil mechanics when you studied in your course geotechnical engineering you might be studied effective stress sigma dash is equal to sigma minus u what is sigma sigma means total total stress what is u or water or water pressure or water pressure Now sigma dash is equal to sigma minus u. Sigma dash means effective stress. Sigma dash means effective stress, which is equal to total stress minus pore water pressure. So you need to keep this equation in your mind. 0.77 log 10 2000 by sigma dash. But this is an empirical equation. You need to sub you need to substitute the units of sigma dash should be in kilo pascal, kilo newton per meter square. 0.77 log 10 2000 by sigma dash where the unit of effective stress should be in kilo pascal because it is an empirical equation where you need to you need to take the units that was suggested by teng so please remember this point your effective stress unit should be in kilo pascal okay so now somebody can ask me why you are applying power button correction what is the reason it is a good question the reason i will tell you now the reason i will tell you why we are applying corrections to why you are applying corrections to recorded spt value especially a correction like power button let me tell you now for example i will choose another color okay so this is the bore hole we are making in ground this is the this is the symbol of ground you are making the bore hole see now we are conducting spt test this is the split point sampler so once it is coming down if you go down go down you can conduct spt at a regular interval of 1.5 1.53 meter again at 4.5 meter like that the thing is the thing is see when you conduct spt at 1.5 at 1.5 you got an spt value n value 9 if you go deeper the same soil let me say the same poisonous soil sand if you conduct spt at 3 meter you got 15 if you go deeper you got 20 somebody can ask me the same sand is there throw to 0 to 1 4.5 0 to 4.5 same sand is there but i am getting different n values when you go deeper and deeper the resistance from the soil is increasing the resistance from the soil is increasing it is true uh, the beauty here is what i am trying to understand from spt when i am giving number of blows if the soil is strong if the soil is strong 
if the soil is strong the, the penetration of split pool sampler is not easy that means i how to put more energy in order to penetrate into the ground try to understand the testing if you are getting higher spt value means the soil is strong if you are getting lower spt value means you are getting uh, if you are getting lower spt value means the soil is weak because we are trying to understand what we are trying to measure the penetration resistance the number of blows means nothing but the way the soil is offering the resistance to penetration if you are getting higher penetration resistance means higher number of blows will come if higher the number of blows the soil strength is more so that's why what i can understand at 1.5 i am getting lower spt value if you go deeper i am getting higher spt within the same soil within the same soil that means because of the overburden see here if somebody measures stress here what is the stress gamma into 1.5 if you go deeper what is the stress at 3 meter gamma into gamma into 3 if i wants to go deeper 4.5 what is the stress here can anyone say now gamma into how much please speak hello anyone can help me what is the stress here at 4.5 meter gamma into gamma 4. means unit weight of this soil 4.5 gamma into 4.5 that means when i am going deeper and deeper our burden is increasing our burden is increasing it is underestimated at top it is over estimated at bottom so it is underestimated you just listen my long ways it is underestimated at the top it is over estimated at bottom because of our burden that's why whatever the n value you have obtained it needs our burden correction if somebody is judiciously if somebody is consciously calculating cn he will realize that he will realize that if you started calculating cn value you will get the answers like this uh, let me say for example uh, 0.7 0.8 what have been now these are the cn values now these are the n values n values this is cn for example uh, as i told you n value is 915 9 15 20 what about n dash now n dash is equal to cn into n so what is the answer now 9 into 1.1 so now when it comes to this is depth let me write depth 1.5 meter 3 meter 4.5 meter so here you see can anyone tell, tell me now n dash now n dash is equal to 15 into 15 into 0.9 when it comes to 4.5 so i can write now in comfortably 0.8 into this is the right way of writing cn into n 0.8 into 20 so what i am observing at the end see at the top i am getting an answer now it is more than 9 let me say it is 9.9 it is nearly 10 when it comes to the bottom values they are going to be decrease now what happen now 15 into 0.9 uh, let me assume a uh, value uh, maybe 14 approximately i am writing 0.8 it, it will be 16 okay now what i am understanding now what i am understanding now original value is 9 observed values observed values are 9 15 20 when it comes to corrected values n dash they are 10 14 16 what happening now what happening now see where the power button is less where the power button is less that means at top the value is less 9 now i need to increase this value now. so that means i am going to multiply with a factor i am going to multiply with a correction factor which is more than 1 see if you multiply with more than 1 your value will be increases if you multiply with a value less than 1 your value will be decreases so it is quite obvious that it is quite obvious that when you are going deeper the effective stress will be increases 
once effective power button is increases spt value will be power estimated power estimated so that means we need to correct that we need to correct that you, you need to correct that means you need to reduce it you need to reduce it so that is taken care by the tens for so power button correction why you are applying power button because at shallow depth it is underestimated so the value is underestimated we need to apply a correction it should be more than one so this cn is obtained from don't worry cn is obtained from 0.77 log 10 2000 by sigma dash this is the formula this was given by when c10 okay the latency means expansion actually increase in volume expansion means increase in volume so this could happen the volume of the uh, uh, usually it could happen in silty sands in case of saturated silty sands dilatancy occurs dilatancy occurs the saturated silty sands unta chusara fine sands avi water tho kalisi water unnapudu ante ground water table lo water untadu kada aa water unnapudu soil lo silty sands lo saturate ayinapudu avi ubbutayi ante volume perigutayi they will increase their volume they will expand this kind of phenomena is called dilated then volume perigi strong ga untayi they they act as a stiff materials so this could happen in saturated silty sands so this dilatancy is a interesting phenomena dilatancy is nothing but expansion dilatancy is nothing but expansion increase in volume increase in volume of saturated silty sands so under saturation silty sands and exhibits dilatancy dilatancy apudu gettiga stiff ga ayipothundi ee sand anta stiff ga ayipothundi apudu indilo indilo meer spt kottar ankonde if you start trying to penetrate the sampler into the soil spt value ekku vastunda takku vastunda konu adi cheppandi n value will be more or less more or less when you started doing spt test standard penetration test when you are trying to penetrate this split spoon sampler into a saturated silty sand what will happen to the spt value spt value ekku vastunda takku vastunda the value of spt is more or less because soil is saturated it was expanded its volume is increases it's became stiff it's became stiff what could be happen to the spt value so in that case there is a likely chance of increase in spt value undoubtedly n value will be more now now i need to apply correction i need to apply correction that correction is called dilatancy correction 1 by 2 n dash minus 15 if n dash is greater than 15 n double dash is equal to n dash if your n dash is if your n dash is less than 15 this is correct now i think i am bit hurry to write this is correct for me 15 plus 1 by 2 n dash minus 15 so this is the formula if n dash is greater than 15 otherwise if n dash is less than 15 n double dash is equal to n dash so this is what we call the dilatancy correction so please understand that dilatancy happen dilatancy happen in saturated silty sands saturated silty sands whenever you see if it is a clay soil if it is a clay soil for example you are testing spt in a clay soil there is no need to apply dilatancy correction there is no need to apply dilatancy correction dilatancy correction should apply in case of sandy soils especially saturated silty sands if your ground is having clay soil there is no need to bother about dilatancy correction 